of an arrest in the murder of a father killed outside of his home in Coral Springs. His death left neighbors in that community stunned. Investigators say he was the innocent victim of an attempted robbery. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is in Fort Lauderdale outside of the jail with details on the arrest. Ted. Rudaban Elliott tonight, that accused killer, is in the Broward County Jail. Investigators say he stalked his victim, followed him home, and then murdered him in his driveway. The motive for all this? Police say it was robbery. Smiling in his mugshot, Tavon Campbell is facing a first-degree murder charge. Investigators call him a vicious predator. You're charged with a, with a very, very serious offense. With the smile gone and looking very different, Campbell made his first appearance in court, accused of killing Hicksburg Dwight Grant October 29th as Grant pulled into his driveway in Coral Springs near Rock Island and Sample Road. At 9.05 p.m., uh, Mr. Grant came home from running some errands. He went to the bank ATM on University Drive. He was ambushed and violently attacked in his driveway right near his front door. Police believe the motive was robbery, but it appears that Grant had nothing on him after depositing his money into an ATM. He was targeted as he left the bank that evening. Uh, he was targeted for a robbery and was murdered in his front yard. Maybe the most important message that I want to deliver um, to y'all is that he was truly an innocent victim. Surveillance video from the neighborhood is what led police to identify Campbell's car. Investigators say he also left this skull cap on the scene. Detectives were able to match DNA that also led to Campbell. I think you can uh, ascertain that he was very cold-hearted and cold-blooded, predator, vicious. Uh, he's looking at first-degree homicide. Uh, may never get out of prison, hopefully. And uh, yeah, he's smiling at us. Now, police believe when they captured him, he was actually on his way to commit more robberies. They said they also found a robbery kit on him, including a ski mask in it, as well as a skull cap. Just a little while ago, I spoke to the victim's brother. He did not want to go on camera, but said that he wanted to make sure that people in the community know that his brother was a family guy, as well as a kind man. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scouten. CBS 4 News.